baby. What's hey, up, dude? Yo. What's up, Dave? Uh, you know, chill. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah, dude, everything's good. Everything rocks. Did you make What's a mill? Okay, so okay. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about this, guys. I bought a stock. I know this might feel like a betrayal. Um, just coming from a guy who thinks that money's garbage, and I hate jobs and working and just the financial system in general. Uh, but I bought stock yeah. um, in GameStop yeah. with the rest of the guys. And by the time you hear this, you might find out what the end end game of that is. But where I'm at now um, is it did not spike on Friday the way that people originally projected it to. Um, and the, okay, so also... The reason I feel fine about this is because one, it could be a ton of money. Two, we're fucking over the people that have fucked us over for years. For sure. Like, uh, it's finally the people fucking getting getting something out of this system that's been used only against them. Yeah. So that rips. Yeah. Um. But. It looks like they found some sneaky way not to have to buy back all these stocks. I'm not going to talk about like what the short squeeze is and all that stuff. You can look it up if you want to. Yeah, because we don't even know, really. I've done enough research that I could probably give like a weird half correct yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, so actually, we're probably going to find out on like Tuesday or Wednesday at this point if I'm a millionaire. Nice. Uh, it's only one stock, though, so I doubt I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and the people who are going to make a ton of money are the people who are optioning their stocks and shit like that. It's mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? They either buy a fuck ton or they're optioning. And really, you know, as I've talked to other people, it was like, dude, this isn't even about us making a ton of money. This is about us fucking over corporations. Like I, well, yes, there are people who are doing that. Yeah. I wish I had enough money to do that, but yeah. the amount I was able to put in is definitely not uh, <laughs> affecting the well, bottom no. line. <laughs> it totally, ah, dude, I disagree. I think it does. I think that what I think my favorite way to describe what happened in the easiest way is that they crowd like they crowdsourced a rich person. Like that's what sure. they did, right? Like. People who have billions of dollars change the way companies work based on them in like throwing an influx of money or selling an influx of, like a, a crazy amount of stocks. Yeah. That's you know what true. I mean? And that's what they did is they were like, look, buy what you can. You know what I mean? Like if you can buy 10 stocks, buy 10 stocks. If you can only buy one, buy one. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I, like so i thought that was incredible i mean whatever we're not a fucking we're not an economy show i'm just really pumped that people are fucking biting at the man oh yeah for sure and if i had to recommend an economy even though we're not an economic show i'd probably suggest like a socialist or communist economy yeah personally yeah that's what we want and um, hopefully some of this gets us there <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, okay, so that's what I've been doing. Did you get any stonks? What have you been doing? I didn't buy any stonks. I got gate kept all the way. And also my wife was like, hey, this is scary. You know, like <laughs> we shouldn't we should look into stocks. And I was like, Sarah, we don't have time to look into stocks. I need to buy a thousand dollars worth of <laughs> naked brand stock right now. Right. You know? Um, but yeah, so I didn't buy any stocks. I got gate kept really hard, even trying to set up an account. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ended up like, there were times where I, people were like, oh, you can go on this site and get them. And I was like looking at the site and I was like, this place sells data for sure. <laughs> like, I was, right. like, like not going to sign up for this. Um, but in the last two weeks, man, I got, I got real heavy into baking. Oh yeah. I got real heavy into baking. So Dude, I I love that for you. I've made 
it, it brings comfort to chaos for me, you know? I think that the best way, I was talking to, you know, Colin about this, and he was like, I could never bake. It's too many rules kind of thing. I like cooking because you can be free with it. And mm-hmm. I was like, dude, yeah, that's cool, but that's my whole life. Like, I fly by the seat of my pants and everything. Right. So baking's been really therapeutic, dude. Mm. Um, and... Uh, I've baked some jalapeno cheddar bread. I baked some scones. I baked, scones. uh, well, the Brits say scones, so that's what I call them. Well, they, also, <laughs> they say a lot of shit wrong, but we'll, we'll get into that some other time. Create, created our language, but you know, we'll yeah, just yeah, it. sure. All right. We'll anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, made some scones and then, uh, I think my hit though with the with everybody was I made some eclairs. And that that was like the first time feeling like I was fucking baking, dude, because I had to I had to like work dough and shit like that real heavy. Like bread was cool, but I felt like that recipe could have been better. Um but the eclairs and then I made some cinnamon rolls. Like not, but they were like real fancy. Like I twisted them and braided them and, you know, uh-huh. shit like that. Um, and they just were cinnamon sugar. They didn't have any of that sweet, sweet sauce on them. Mm, I um, got you. Yeah, but it was sweet, man. It's been really cool. It's been cool following a recipe and like uh, having to chill the fuck out. You yeah, know? it and can like, definitely be a good centering experience yeah. to get everything out measured. and Dude. Just work your way through a, a recipe. Well, you get all your cups and shit out, and you put shit in shit. You know what I mean? And you have all yeah. your you have all your ingredients laid there, and you're just like, "Damn, this is how life should be." But it's not. Not for no. me, at least. I can't put all my ingredients in a row, you know, and fucking get shit done. So, but that's been cool to do. I've loved it. It's been it's been cool. It's uh, I think it's it's the most like communist of the hobbies because i i just want to bake i want to bake bread for my homies drop it at their house you know like that's what i want to do and also whenever you read communist theory they're always talking about the bread makers you know so oh yeah dude i'm i'm happy to be a bread maker hell yeah i'm happy for you i'm excited one day to try some of your tasty treats oh dude i'll be dropping some off sooner than later Ooh. Probably the eclairs because they worked out the best. Hell they yeah. were ugly as fuck, though, dude. I gotta get that piping skill down. Piping, <laughs> dude. Like, piping looks easy, and I, I, I was a welder for fucking ever. Uh-huh. So like, I can like, I'm really good at um, caulking. You know, uh-huh. like uh-huh. all that shit. I'm good at welding. So I thought that piping would just be like like it's second nature to me and as soon as i started squeezing them eclairs on a tray i was like oh those are ugly <laughs> like, yeah, dude. how big do i make them you know what i mean like some oh, of yeah. them look like peanuts and shit dude <laughs> so <laughs> fucked up. but they taste dude, good the, the aesthetic part of baking i think always comes last yeah you it's just like- make ugly sweets for a while yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's so much more important to get the recipe right. And then you get to that part where you're like, wow, I actually made a cake. Yeah, yeah. How do I frost it? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, you're looking at these beautiful layers, and you're just like, now uh-huh. what do I do? And they're like, pipe a perfect rose on top of that. And uh-huh. like, I don't even know what a rose looks like. <laughs> yeah, I've seen like three roses in my life. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, yeah, so it's been cool. I mean, you know, this is a good... Uh, this is a good segue into what we're, this is going to be a short episode because uh, mm-hmm. speaking of chaos and getting your ingredients and fucking leveling shit out, um, we're terrible at that. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> we're terrible. so <laughs> bad at it. Um, and so Walter and I have decided that we're going to take uh, a little break not this see it, there's no good way to say this because it always sounds like you're going to stop doing what you're doing it sounds like a band saying like we're going on hiatus no but we're only taking two weeks off 
And there's going to be episodes those two weeks. But there are going to be episodes. They're just not going to be. It's going to be this, and it's probably going to be us shooting the shit for yeah. a little bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, we just uh, we needed a little time. I think we both have just wanted to deliver a better show than we've been able to. Yeah. Um, back at the beginning of this, it was a lot easier to land guests when Dave was fucking booking people because super manic dude you were crushing it yeah i i mean i like going back like it's like i'm bipolar i pick up hobbies and then i drop them and this isn't a hobby this is something i like to do with my friend and i think that we've built something really cool and we have like a lot of really cool listeners and we've like made it across the sea and shit and that's rad Mm -hmm. like i mean we had downloads out of singapore and shit you know and I think when I started seeing that shit, it was like, damn, all right, like, um, we're starting to get like a very, you know, cause when you first start a podcast, it's real up and down, at least is what I experienced. It's like, get a bunch out of the gate, get a bunch of listeners out of the gate, then it drops back and then it raises. And then you see like little increments and stuff, but then you start building this like core listenership. And I think that's what we've done and we've built a core listenership. But I feel like if we don't work on it, we're going to fucking disappoint people. And we're going to disappoint people in, like, fucking Singapore and shit. Dude, you know? and they don't, they don't need to be disappointed. No, fuck no, dude. Nobody does. And, like, even just friends in the neighborhood, you know? I want to, you know, we have friends that listen. We have family and shit. And it, so I just, I think that what we are going to do is we're going to build a really good outline. Um... And we're going to start going back to episodes like The Egg and like Fear and Love. And those are the type of episodes we're going to build. And we're going to have guests when we have guests. But they're going to be, it's not going to be me hunting down guests um, left and right every two weeks. We have a set, you know, we want to have Tiffany back. I really want to. Um, Hell yeah. But what was happening is we were relying so heavy on guest and like building this thing and doing these deep dives into people's lives that when they got canceled, it was like, we have nothing to fucking talk about, you know? And the, you know, the last episode that dropped out, we were like, Hey, you know, our third eyes are closed. And I think part of it was cause it, it stopped being me and Walter just talking about our fucking beliefs and trying to figure the world out. And I want to go back to that of us Mm -hmm. trying to figure the world out and uh, trying to learn how to walk through chaos and shit. We want to bring like news stories and stuff. So just like we're going to build a heavy outline. Like that's what we're going to do. We, we record two episodes every time we get together and uh, you know, we're going to talk real heavily um, about this and just really, really dial it in, you know? Yeah. So and then we're going to play video games on Twitch. Like, that's another thing we've started doing and, like, I really love. Oh, um, it's awesome. It's, like, some of my favorite thing is, like, it's kind of the episode after the episodes, you know? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to build into that um, and try and build a build a show that we can be super proud of and feel like we were, work, were working at and not just, like, hanging out and pulling shit out of our ass all the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I I really want to like. One, I want to grow as a person, and I feel like this show is like a good motivator to look into things and figure shit out yeah. and try to put together like cohesive ideas. Um, yeah. And I love the guests, but booking people is a job, and both of us already have those. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have three um, of them, like kids, a podcast, a fucking yeah, yeah. God, dude. So it's that, and then it's like also, you know, our time that we can actually meet together and do this is super limited because of our families and everything else. Yeah. So... Yeah, I think it'll be good. I really um I really enjoyed putting together that fear and love episode. I feel like uh, and I I like the idea. I don't think I'm going to try to stick super heavily just to spiritual stuff. I want to talk spiritual stuff, but I also think we should get into some like philosophy and yeah. like uh get into maybe um 
you know, some more like social issues like we have done in the past. I think that stuff is good too. Yeah. Um, well, and I think it all goes together, like theories and philosophy and shit. I want to like take an episode and just like dive deep into the trolley issue and shit. You know what I mean? Like even shit like that, where it's like, where are we, what do we do here? You know what I mean? Like where do our philosophies lie? Like we're still building a religion, you know, like that's Uh not changing, I think, but the way we are delivering it will change. Um, For sure. And just go back to a time where like, I mean, those, I think that um, I've loved every episode we've done. But I do sure. think that we like there was a point where we really knew what we were doing and then you like would get some try and get some guests and they drop out and it's like, all right, cool. I have three days to figure out what to do for an episode. And we all we both have two kids yeah. <laughs> and like life and work and shit like that. So um and we have yeah. like I mean, this is an announcement, and this is coming early, but we also have another podcast that's going to come out. It's in the works. It's in the works. Like, there's cooking it up. We're cooking up shit behind the scenes and shit, um, because one of the things that we've always wanted to do is like, if you know, the tome of chaos, like that. Ha- I want that to be an overarching, like, um, uh. I don't know, entity where we can just like bring our friends in to do more shit, which we have been doing, you know, like streaming with homies um, after we talk or after an episode or bringing people into it. So we have a lot of shit going on in the background too. And uh, I just want to, I want to be able to be efficient with all of those things. Oh yeah. You know? So, but uh, yeah, we love you. We love you guys. And thanks for continuing to, like, listen to us. And thank you for continuing to, like, hang out with us every Tuesday while we talk about shit that we have no clue of and try and figure shit out, you know? Yeah, for sure. And now, you know, we're we're going to be looking into restructuring the show and, like, taking stock and all that shit. So if you have ideas for us or if you have things that um, you think would make good episodes in the future, uh, hit us up uh, tome of chaos podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, part of it is like sometimes you think you're doing everything right. Cause you don't hear anything, you know? Um, yeah. And we want to hear from everyone who listens. Um, of things they like, things they don't like, you know what I mean? Like you, uh, podcasts are cool because you can help structure them. You yeah. Know? If you, if only one person doesn't like something though, we're not changing it. Fuck you. Yeah. Unless you're <laughs> like really fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Yeah. You have to be super fucking cool to get us to change something. Um, but I doubt you are. But I don't know. That might be that might be too mean. You might be that cool. Yeah, dude. Everybody's that cool, I guess. We'll change whatever. No, wait, Fuck hey, it. wait. Hold up. <laughs> too far. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So I think that's where we'll end it. Just email us. Let us know what you think. Um, yep. Especially after listening to this episode and tell us if you're excited or if you're just so angry that we're going to change the way we do things to be better. If you like us worse, let us know too. <laughs> yeah. If you want us to show up and do no work and just kind of fucking babble on for, you know, a half hour, that's cool too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's it. We're going to have a really good vacation though and not think about this shit. Um, after tonight when we rebuild the way we do episodes and shit and, uh, well, you know, we're going to have to do research for the next couple episodes. So, oh, yeah, maybe. for sure. We're going to do research. I'm just saying, like, we are taking a little bit of a vacation, not sitting down and doing two completely different episodes for two hours <laughs> on a Saturday yeah. Is, yeah. is a vacation for us. So, uh, we're pretty pumped about it. Um, yeah, we love you guys. We hope chaos walks with you. Peace. Later. <laughs>